It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! You look like a fireman! Now you look like a construction worker. <laughs> You're a natural cowboy, Debo. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, what is it like to be a cowboy? Let's find out. I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Uh, uh, hey, do you know any cowboys? Whoa, Whoa there. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Hampton the Horse. What brings you two down to these for? Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. We're here to learn what it's like to be a cowboy. Well, you certainly rode into the right range. Giddy up. But first, we've got to get you looking the part. All right. I see you got your hat on, partner. Looking good. <laughs> Here, Blippi, grab yourself a hat and a bandana. See, cowboys wear these wide brim hats to protect themselves from the sun and the rain. Ah, much better. Now you looking good. Yeah, cowboy. But they're also useful for gathering water when you need a drink. Cool. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> cowboy hats are also good for moving a cow in the right direction. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> hey! No worries there, Blippi. Being a cowboy is so much more than just having the right clothes. Like what? Riding horses is a big part of the job. It's how cowboys got around before corn, and it allows us to herd cattle without scaring. Hop on. Let's ride. <laughs> Maybe we should slow down. Oh, I think I'll stick to the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> That's actually perfect, since we have loose cattle to rank. We gotta spread out and move in the direction of the cows to go. Toward the pen. Yeah. Ah, this way. Let's get a wiggle on. That means let's go. Yippee! Well done, Blippi. You wrangled those cows like a real cowboy. Being a cowboy is hard work. Sure is. But it makes the day worthwhile. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for helping me find the answer to my question. <laughs> Cowboys wear big hats, ride horses, and wrangle cattle. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for making us feel at home on the range. Anytime, City Slicker. <laughs> <laughs> Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Mmm, mm, 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 salad! <laughs> oh, thanks, Tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? <coughs> Great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in the mouth. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth. Shrinking down! We're inside a mouth. 
You're right, Tabs. We need a way to clean these teeth. Would a brush help? Hi, I'm Bill Brushy. And you are? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth. Well, you're asking the right brush. Hop on, and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth. All right. Hey, Bill Brushy, is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir. It helps keep teeth healthy and food free. Okay, now here's how to brush your teeth. Let's go to the front first. So, small circles on every tooth. Whoa! Okay, that's the front done. Let's go to the back now. We turned, we flipped. Little circles round and round. All right, let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the chew crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs, toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow! I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling teeth. We will. Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye-bye.
Activate Blippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy! Whoa! What is that? <laughs> You're right, Debo. I think he's setting up for Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Dia de los Muertos? <laughs> Great idea! We'll go ask him and find out. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Paco. Paco, what are you making here? I'm making an ofrenda. It's part of a Mexican celebration where we remember the family members who are no longer with us. But I have a problem. What's wrong? I don't remember anything about my great abuela Rosa. I need to know what things she liked so I can make a proper ofrenda for her. <laughs> great idea, Debo. We can go back in time and meet your great abuela Rosa. Just follow us. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Going back in time! Whoa, where are we? Welcome to Mexico! Whoa! Whoa. Great Abuela Rosa? Yes? Hi, it's me, Paco, your great-grandson from the future. <gasps> Hola, mijo! And who are your friends? This is Blippi and Debo. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Hola. What are you doing here? Don't tell me you don't know how to make a proper ofrenda for me. Well... Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> bueno, I will show you all my favorite things. Come on! The first thing I love is riding. Fast! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! You're really fast! My second favorite thing is oranges! They are so juicy and sweet! Yeah. <gasps> oh no! We can make orange juice! <laughs> Follow me! Okay, my third favorite thing is... Musica! I love music! Well then, you must dance! Thank you, Blippi, for helping me learn about my great Abuela Rosa. You're welcome, Paco. And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, you can make an ofrenda with the things that truly represent the spirit of our loved ones. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Paco. Bye, Blippi. Nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Huh? Attack of the Bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm, I wonder, how do you make bubbles? <laughs> Great idea! We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Ready for adventure! The bubbles are from the car wash! Let's give it a wash! Hi! Oh, good boy! I'm Marvin, Marvin Bubbly! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... Wait a second! Are you a pop star? Oh, 
<laughs> sure am. My mom loves you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Bebo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. <gasps> Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies! The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo -ba -doo poop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me, let's make some more bubbles! And I know just a fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water, get them sized up on the soap, make a circle with your hands and blow! Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me if you can! I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high, Marvin! And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Upload answer, Devo! Bye-bye, <laughs> Marvin! Bye-bye, Blippi! Bye-bye, everyone! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> You're right, Debo. It would be fun to have a dinosaur as a pet. Hmm, I wonder, would a dinosaur make a good pet? <laughs> good thinking! We'll go back in time to find out! I'm gonna need the grabber arm and monster truck wheels. Grabber arm, monster truck wheels, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! That's right! We're in the Cretaceous period. Millions of years ago, when the Earth was filled with Dinosaurs! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi there, Blippi! I'm Tina, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hi, Tina. We were wondering, would a dinosaur make a good pet? An animal that you love and care for. Wow, being a pet sounds amazing. Maybe I could be your pet for the day. Can you drop Debo, please? Debo's made of metal, and we don't want you to break a tooth. Good, Dino. We sure do have sharp teeth. I use mine to eat. Whoa! Do you eat a lot? Feeding is an important part of having a pet. I can bite off 500 pounds of food in one jump. That's a lot more than I have here. Hmm. Let's try a trick. Great idea, Debo! Go fetch, Tina! <laughs> Whoa! Whoopsies! Sometimes I forget my size. Us T Rexes can be as tall as 12 feet high and up to 40 feet long! Wow! That's so big! Hey! Let's go for a walk, Tina! Whoa! Look at all of those teeth! Whoa! 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 Whoa!
that's not how a walk is supposed to go. We gave it a try, but I'm not sure if dinosaurs are meant to be pets. I think you're right. We're meant to rule the jungle. Yep, and you helped find the answer to my question. Would a dinosaur make a good pet? Dinosaurs are big, have lots of teeth, need room to roam, and eat a lot. So they might not be good pets, but it's still fun to imagine. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Tina. Bye. Come back in time. Eddie time. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at all those elephants. Hmm, I wonder, what do elephants use their trunks for? You're right, Debo. We should go ask one and find out. I'm gonna need a water hose and duck feet. Water hose, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Me, Blippi, and that's Debo. Hey, we were wondering, what do elephants use their trunks for? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Tempo. <laughs> Whoa! We elephants use our trunks to help cool down by sucking up water and spraying it on our body. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down the slide again. Race you to the show. You're on. Whoa! How could you breathe underwater? That's another great thing about my trunk. I can breathe through it. Wow! Just like my nose! <coughs> <coughs> exactly. Hey, speaking of noses, I smell bananas. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. Come on, hop on my back. Oh, boy! Another slide! I wish we could go down that one, but the path is blocked! Check this out! Another great thing about trunks is that I can move just about anything! Last one down is a banana peel! Whoa! This is the best day ever! Whoa! Ready or not? also use their trunks to make sounds, like when we are excited. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Tembo, for helping me find the answer to my question. What do elephants use their trunks for? Elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, make sounds, suck up water, and even grab things. <laughs> Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Blippi. See you next time you're in the savannah. Bye-bye. <laughs> we had such a blast! Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Wow! That bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too! They're all so busy. <laughs> Well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's.
Let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down. You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi. I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be. <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler. Lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijon. Are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. <laughs> Gotta chew, that's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha, 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 I rhymed again. <laughs> <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. <sighs> the nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Oh dear. This may look funny, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa. Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Woo yeah. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa, Tabs! Look at this amazing rainforest. <coughs> You're right. I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder what kind of animals live in a rainforest. I'm going to need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! This place is so green! They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do actually. Hey! It's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bye, the giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super, let's go see what we can find. Yeah, thanks, bye. I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way, just for a snack? <laughs> sure. Whoa, this bamboo is as tall as a house. The juiciest shoots are at the top. Would you mind? Whoa. Oh, wow! Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey! Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream! Unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing. There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh, no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. Could I possibly?
possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bai. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye, bye. Mmm, yum. These turkey sandwiches are going to be delicious. Oh, what a mess. Hey, look at that fly walk on the ceiling. Hmm, I wonder, how do flies walk on the ceiling? I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hey, Devo, I think I know that fly. It's Horace. Hi, Blippi. How's it going, pal? How did you get on the ceiling? No, oh, it's easy. Watch this. Ta-da! Wow. Yes, sir -y. The ceiling is my own personal dance floor. Skip it, but it, dip, 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 dip. Now you try. Here goes. Whoa! Why can't the Blippi Mobile stand on the ceiling too? What's the trick? Here's the trick! You've got to stick! Stick? Mm-hmm. You see, my feet make a super sticky glue that helps me stick to the ceiling. Here, try some! Don't mind if I do. Here goes. I stick to the ceiling too. Look at all that mess. Oh, oh, the glue has a stuck in place. That's because you're not doing the fly leg twist. The fly leg twist? That's right. Fly glue is so strong that we have to push ourselves off the ceiling to walk like this. Like this? You got it! Now let's hit it! Do the fly leg twist! Do the fly leg twist! And get your feet unstuck when you go like this! We did it! And I have the answer to my question. How do flies walk on the ceiling? Fly legs have a special sticky glue that keeps them stuck to the ceiling. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Well, I'm off to eat a little bit of dinner now. <laughs> See you later, Blippi. Bye-bye. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Easy, careful now. Whoa, I'm hungry. Ah, oh, this cereal is soggy. Hmm, I wonder, why does cereal get soggy? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and find out. I'm gonna need wings, duck feet, and the grabber arm. Wings, duck feet, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! You're right, Diva! It sure is hard! Attention! Whoa! Who are you? I'm scared! 
Scooper the Spoon. That's Sergeant Scooper the Spoon to you. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn why cereal gets soggy. Well, you came to the best of the best. These crunchy pieces of cereal are as hard as nails. The only problem is we got incoming milk in T minus 30 seconds. What huh? happens then? The cereal gets all wet, Blippi. At first, it may seem like cereal is 100% solid, but if you look closely, it's actually porous. That means full of tiny little holes. Good idea, Debo. I'll go gather some intel, and you stay here on the lookout. Shrinking down again! It's like a cave made of cereal. All those holes you're flying through are open space for milk to fill and make the cereal soggy. Then it expands and falls huh? apart. Milk incoming! Whoa! The cereal is falling apart! Time to get out of here! Growing up! No time to float around! We've got a cereal rescue mission to huh? complete! Now that the milk has infiltrated the cereal, we've got to scoop fast before the cereal gets soggy. We're on it. Oh no! I got it! You see, in the few minutes the cereal has been in milk, it has absorbed the liquid through the holes. A lot like how a sponge absorbs water. With your help, we got all the cereal out safely. Well done, troops. Thanks, Sergeant Scooper. And I got the answer to my question. Why does cereal get soggy? Cereal gets soggy when milk fills in the tiny holes of the cereal and causes it to expand and fall apart. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Bye-bye, Sergeant Scooper. Thanks for the scoop. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa! Bouncy sand dune! And even bouncier! Wow, what an amazing sand castle! Wave incoming! Oh no! Looks like that castle was no match for that wave. Huh, I wonder, can I build a sand castle that doesn't get washed away? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tabs. There is only one way to find out. I need to build a sandcastle of my own. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and spider legs. Excavator arm, spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for action. Let's go make a sandcastle that won't get washed away. Now we need to make ourselves sandcastle size. Drinking down! Feel that cool ocean breeze, Tabs. Whoa! Hi there, I'm Krabby the Crab. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, crikey, I don't know my own strength. Hi, Krabby. It's me, Blippi. And this is my Blippi-mobile. I love it. <laughs> so, you out taking a fun ride? Actually, Krabby, I'm here because I'm curious if I can build a sandcastle that won't get washed away. You came to the right, Crab. I'm a planner, digger, and a builder. I can help you, Blippi. Great. So, the first thing we're going to do is build a moat. That's a fancy word for a hole. You see, the water goes into the hole and doesn't wash away what's behind it. So, let's dig. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. Wow, what a hole. Now let's build a sandcastle. You're right, Tabs. We are going to need a shovel. Finished. Success. You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. The moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat. And best sandcastle ever. Wave incoming! 
The moat worked, Krabby. This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. <laughs> Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Driving at night is so much fun! And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa! What was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm, I wonder, why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. Hi, my name is Rita the Raccoon. What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool. Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course. I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything. Oh, look at her go. Debo, follow that raccoon. <laughs> Woo! Ha ha! Come on, keep up! Rita, you aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippi-mobile! This time, I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye bye Rita! Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! I love being at the beach. Whoa! A flying fish! Hmm, I wonder, what's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi-mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! 
it's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friend. Well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right, thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp! Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Taps. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa! That fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh no, this never happens. <coughs> yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here. Wherever we are. Jerry! Jerry? Blippi, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on! I scared a gray whale? And she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus, and a shark, and a sea turtle, and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter, and a seahorse, and a lobster, and a stingray. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. <laughs> I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does a guitar work? You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. I love it! Thank you! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky! We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right. Okay. When I pick a string, it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note. <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it loud. Thank you. Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard. 
We're going up and down, too! When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates, and the sound hole there makes it super loud, like a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth! <laughs> Hello! Wow! That was loud! Right! Practice is over. Time to jam! One, two, three, four! Thank you! <laughs> and now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye, Picky. Bye, Flippy. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. Activate Flippy Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Mmm, what's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo. Vegetables are yummy too. Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Super suggestion! We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. All right, we're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. And look, there's one right now. Step right up. You're the next contestants on Slim Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show. Fruit or Vegetable. Tell us your names. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seed in them and grow on a plant with flowers. Fruits have pits or seeds and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Blippi, is this carrot a fruit? Oh. Ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right! What can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, a fruit. Yes, strawberry is a fruit. And you get two correct answers, which means this trophy is all yours. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves, and fruits have flowers in a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye-bye, Mr. Slim. Congrats to you, Blippi. That's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madam Mango, on Fruit of Vegetables. Gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Debo? 
Monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck. All right, let's ride. Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure. Crash, crash. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi, I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great! You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall! Wow! Let's do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash! Whoa. Ah. Whoa. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race Whoa. and have competitions. Cool! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! This is awesome! Whoa. How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering, so I can turn all four Whoa. wheels at once, instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed! I nailed that! Megan, that was amazing! And I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car. It's going so fast. You're right. The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo. We can go to the racetrack and find out. I'm gonna need race car tires. Race car tires confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> oh, nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! I'm going really fast! Whoa! Ha! 
I'm not even going as fast as I can. Only 180 miles per hour now. Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars. Plus, my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain. Do your thing. You can do it, Debo. Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do. My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track. Thanks, Debo. Now you're even faster. My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi. Whoa, I'm blown away. But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine. Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Debo. Ciao. Look at those ducks floating in that pond. Exactly, Debo. There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea. Let's go ask that one. I'm gonna need duck feet and wings. Duck feet, wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Here, ducky, ducky! Here, little ducky! Whoa! Big ducky! Hang on, Debo! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! Well, hello there, Blippi and Debo! I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond! You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, a, a stuck do paddle with her feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. Hmm, we can't get close enough. You're right. We have our binoculars. Whoa! What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right. You stopped paddling and you're still floating. Must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. <coughs> it's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. <coughs> See again, we make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers! Whoa! Is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon! Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry. We have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true. And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? Duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So ducks float. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! The rain will be gone soon, Tabs? Great! Since I just finished my fun painting. Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs, exactly right. It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors. <gasps> Whoa! 
A rainbow! So many colors! I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs. We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings. Wing confirmed. Let's go explore. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please! The big blue sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer, I'm Bowie the Rainbow! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi! I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one. I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Lippy. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, super fan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step. Position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets, like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends, or refracts, and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila! That is awesome! I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy.